Hey, what is up guys? And I have a very uh, important video, especially if you've been following my tire shop mobile service van video, I guess, series. And uh, I'm actually gonna be starting a tire mobile uh, startup challenge here. Uh, it's gonna be a set of videos, multiple videos, and I'm gonna be explaining in detail uh, how to start your own tire mobile tire shop business. And so the reason I haven't done this earlier was because before I didn't understand what sort of questions people had. And so um, some people have been kind enough. I've been offering the service in all of my mobile videos of, you know, if you have questions, reach out to me and we'll schedule a kind of like a consulting session. And some people have reached out. We've uh, had some questions. I've been able to gather some data. And with that data now, we're finally going to be able to create more content here for you guys. So you can see and um, you know, know the common questions and the things that you want to know, especially if you're going to be investing in a van or if you already have a van, maybe you want to cross reference and see if you're doing all these things. Now, keep in mind, guys, I could have made this into a course and charge you five bucks, but I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'd rather just subscribe, you know, subscribe to my channel. It only takes you two seconds. And as you guys could see out of my mobile tire shop videos, um, only 44% of the viewers are subscribed, which is actually really high. So I do appreciate all you guys who are subscribed. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. But 55% of all of you guys who are not subscribed, really, again, I didn't do this into a course. So please go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. And so with your help, this will be possible. So, I mean, with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and start uh, this video really I'm not gonna go in detail a lot but I'm gonna go in detail of the whole thing I'm gonna be talking within this challenge now it might be a eight six video you know I still don't know how many videos it's gonna be depends on on the length of the content but right now I'm gonna go over uh, pretty much what we're going to be um, talking about in this challenge so while I talk about these things I do want to show you guys some pictures so you guys are not just staring at me kind of just randomly, but uh, let's see here. This this album right here, obviously, as you guys can see, is, is pictures I took when, whenever we've been visiting customers. Uh, you know, our mobile van over there, you can see it right there. But I'm going to be showing you guys, uh, let's start with this interior picture, right? So you guys can see the, the way our van is set up. And so I'm going to be dividing the, the series into probably eight sections right now. The first section is going to be how to get started. Uh, so if you're thinking of having one of these vans right here that you see in the picture, uh, you will first, first out of anything, you need a business plan. Okay. So you need to know, you need to get to know your market. Are you going to be doing commercial tires, like those big truck tires? Are you going to be doing, are you, you know, in a farming place? Are you going to be doing farm tires? Are you going to just be doing passenger vehicles? Uh, this is important because profit margins are different in each category and you need to know if there's a niche or if there's a demand for this you know it might be it might sound like a really good idea but if there's not enough demand you know then there's no point in, in you investing in one of these so also you do want to set while you're making your plan you want to set a break even point uh, break even just really means is how much does it cost to run this van in a daily basis or in a monthly basis with salaries involved, with insurance, with all the costs. You know, it's a simple accounting term, but you really want to know how much is it costing you so that way you can determine how much you're gonna charge. You know, how much are you gonna be billing for your tires? How much are you gonna be billing for labor? And if you don't know what's your break even, then you really don't know um, if you're gonna be making a profit until you go through one month. And if you are making a loss, then now you went through a whole month and you did all that for just a loss. So that's something that we don't want to do. You want to, and again, if you have questions on how to do a proper break-even uh, analysis, you can always just Google it. Um, I'm, I'm an accountant myself, so I can always, you know, go over this with you in more detail. Uh, but again, that I might go a little template once I do that video in the future. Now, you will obviously need the van, right? And you will need someone to build it. So I will be sharing the, the company who builds these vans. Unfortunately, they haven't reached out to me. I reached out to them to see if we could have some sort of discount for you guys to offer here um, and you know some sort of affiliate program, but they haven't reached out. So, I mean, at the moment I'm still gonna be, once I do that video, I'm still gonna share the builder. And then if I do find a better alternative, I'll also let you guys know. But you also need the van, so are you going to be buying it used? Are you going to be buying it new? Uh, you know, my thoughts on that as well. 
And then um, I would also, let's see, recommend for, for just just a little side note here I had here on my notes. If you're thinking, you know, if you're too overwhelmed about the build, um, you know, there's also videos on YouTube on how to build your mobile home. It's becoming very popular to build these vans into a mobile home, like a, like a, just a small mobile home. Uh, those those uh, videos probably might work as well. Then you just have to install the equipment. But uh, just something to keep in mind. Also, I will be talking about in one of my videos on how you need to think about your customer. So you need a website. You need a phone number, right? How are they going to be able to reach you at? Uh, and the type of advertisement. Uh, advertisement is very broad. So I'm going to be doing just a video on advertisement alone and what works best for me in terms of advertisement and how I get the best return out of my advertisement money. Uh, but these are things that you want to talk about as well. Again, I will be doing maybe a quick video on how to do a website, maybe not because that's very common and if you guys don't know how to do that. But again, depends really. Let me know in the comments below out of everything I talk about, which ones you really want to see more in detail so I can make those videos, uh, you know, because it's going to take time. And then the fourth thing will be how to operate the van. So who will operate the van? Is it going to be you? Is it going to be Uncle Joe? Is it going to be, you know, I don't know, someone else? Make sure this is something I struggled a lot. And the reason is, um, the reason I was able to get this started was because I was going at the van and doing the services myself, as you see in my videos. Right now, I do have people. I do have two other guys. One of them just quit, so I only have one guy. But it's very important because it's really difficult to find the proper person here. And it's it's important very important because he needs to be a salesperson or she you know it really doesn't matter but he or she needs to be a salesperson a good installer and then a good customer service rep and he needs to understand because there's a lot of moving parts there's this there's that and so if you have someone who's not very comfortable multitasking or handling multiple activities at once it's going to be a mess you're going to have to go onto the side you're going to have to help them do their job and then you're still having to pay someone so that's not how it works you should have someone was independent and so that's really out of the whole mobile project really for me the hiring part the getting the delegating it to someone else has been the hardest part so hopefully you it's going to be you working it or it's going to be someone you really trust that's really going to put the effort and the time to, to make this work now the fifth thing that we're going to be talking in the series too is going to be establishing suppliers right no matter where you are in the u.s unfortunately i, I have no control out of somewhere else i did see and again if we go back here to that image most of the viewers uh based on the, the geographics here are from the u.s which is fine that's perfect um unfortunately i don't have suppliers out of the u.s but if you're anywhere in the u.s i can find a supplier for you it doesn't matter if you're in alaska it doesn't matter if you're in florida uh, we're going to be talking about the major tire suppliers and where you can buy your shop supplies and all that stuff so that's another video i think that's going to be pretty interesting then, uh, but you have to establish those suppliers before you even start your van, right? You need to have a place to buy your tires and offer tires. Now, the sixth thing I'm going to be talking about specifically on the set of videos is going to be advertisement. Like I said, I use Google, um, Google ads, Facebook ads, and I'm going to be talking the comparison about those and which one performs better in terms of what you want. I've often find that Google ads work better for phone call generating leads. So if you want more phone calls, then Google Ads is the way to go. If you want more website submissions and actual sometimes appointment submissions through, you know, just people who just submit the appointments, then Facebook Ads is much more affordable and a much better reach. So, but again, you have to do it right. And there's some tips and tricks that I've learned over time that you don't, you know, some mistakes that I've committed that you don't want to commit as well because they're costly and they just take time. So uh, the seventh thing is uh, who's going to be doing your customer answering phone calls or requests and dispatching. You might think that it's just as simple as, okay, I'm going to get on a van and just start dispatching. But again, think about it. If you're changing this tire, you're, you know, with all the machines and suddenly your phone goes off. Yeah, you could call them back. But ideally, you want to have a plan. If possible, you want to have someone who's just helping you out, uh, you know, just just answer those phone calls and then coordinating with the driver or the installer saying, hey, this is your next stop. This is where you're going to be picking up the tires because a person that's just in a desk is able to identify, okay, this supplier has it at a better price. And so it's just better. I've, I found that to be much, much better. So it's just advice, guys. You don't have to take it, but that's what this video or that video specifically is going to be about. And then again, whether you want to do your appointments over the phone 
or over the website. You know, the the more automated it is, the better. But you also want to have options. You know, you do have those older folks that don't like websites and that you still want to capture their business. So a phone, you know, appointment over the phone might be also great, great an option. Uh, now the eighth video or the eighth part of the video here that I, of the series that I have here will be who will run the books. I know that this is a part that some people just don't really like. And again, I, this is my profession. This is actually what I studied for. So I, I really like that part. To me, that's the most exciting part, uh, you know, actually doing the books. But uh, you do need to know who's going to be the accountant or who's going to be running the books because at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're being profitable. Like I said, this project, our company has had it for two years. For over 10 months, this project was unprofitable, was not profitable. And it was because we were not doing the books properly. Ever since, uh, you know, we've been breaking even. And then we've had maybe a couple months, maybe six months that we've actually been making some good profit. And I'm going to be sharing the numbers with you guys as well. Along with the expenses along this series. So that's going to be pretty exciting. So um, Again guys, this is just really a summary of what we're gonna be doing, you know, it's just gonna be uh, You know, just just a, a, a summary of, of The whole structure of how to get your mobile van going and so hopefully uh, It's it's very helpful. Hopefully if you guys again have questions feel free to comment below now, if you feel like you want a more tailored um, Q&A session, a more personalized Q&A session, feel free to reach out to me uh, via email or my social media accounts. I'm still doing, um, you know, sessions, consulting sessions at a very affordable rate. But again, if you want to just wait for the series, that's fine too. I mean, it's, it's absolutely fine. Sometimes people just have specific scenarios that they just want to talk and they just want to ac accelerate. Or maybe you're just about to do this and... You want to make sure you're doing everything right. So, you know, it's it's a good investment. It's very affordable. So, you know, just something to consider. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, remember that I also have a drop shipping business for tires. So I do ship tires all over the U.S. Uh, that's a sponsor for this video. So the tiredealer.com. I'll be leaving a link to the description below. So thank you again so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And again, I'll be posting a new video for the mobile series every wednesday yes and i'm just checking my calendar to see if it's wednesday so yeah every wednesday i'm going to be posting one of these videos so be sure to stay tuned subscribe and i'll see you guys next wednesday peace